I don't think I've shown this yet to the court. Hmm? Is that a bottle? The label is ripped off. And where did you find this bottle, Mr. Wright? It was found during our search in Mr. McIntosh's room. It was in the drawer of his work desk. The label was ripped off, and it, well, it seemed weird, you know? Well, uh, Mr. Hulk, is this relevant to the case at all? Hmm. Your Honor. Y yes, sir? Can you please take the bottle and sniff the contents inside it? Well, that's a rather strange request. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Let me see the bottle, Mr. Wright. Um... Okay, here you go. I have a... Before you continue, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. It's that helmet. Yeah, I think so, too. Now that I let's, think about let's it. Let's do it. That's the only other thing that has been presented yet in this trial. And uh, Hawk was the one that took that. So, we'll see. Hmm. These bottle caps are a pain to get off these days. <sighs> oh, there we go. Um, Nick? What's going on? I don't know. Honestly, I don't think this is going... What? Huh? <sighs> oh my god! That's chloroform. I'll bet That's you anything. That's why Maya was almost passing out. It was chloroform. That makes perfect sense then. Oh god. Mr. Wright! Ah! What? What was that for? What was in that bottle to make me pass out like that? How should I know? I don't know what's in there. And besides, I didn't ask you to smell the bottle. Oh, my chair is out of place. What will I do? Your Honor. Y yes? The prosecution would like to submit one last piece of evidence. This red helmet. A helmet? I would like you to take this and put it on, Your Honor. No! You're gonna kill him even worse! Okay. <laughs> Another strange request? Well, who am I to turn down the prosecution? Wait! Nick! Isn't that the... That's the helmet from the other day! Oh... Uh, uh... Maya! Are you alright? What's wrong? Little dizzy. Oh, Chloroform. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And he went. That was pretty awkward. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the defense and prosecution intent on making me ill today? <laughs> Don't lug me into this. So that's it. That's how you were trying to kill Miss Duvall. What? What are you talking about? This bottle that the defense presented has the same properties that are in that helmet. And that very helmet that I gave the judge has chloroform in it. Oh. I knew it. I knew that was chloroform. You mean this bottle contains chloroform? What's chloroform doing in her helmet? I found this helmet in Miss Duvall's room the other day. A strange smell emitted from it, so I took it with me to have the inside checked. Forensics examined the helmet and told me that chloroform was applied to the helmet padding. <coughs> During my investigation yesterday, I talked to a number of staff members. The one in charge of costumes said you came to her the day before the show. She said that you asked for Dara's new costume. That costume being the one she has on right now. And the red helmet. Oh, shit. You intended for her to have that helmet on as she was to ride down that ramp. Hold it! D don't be ridiculous! How was she going to fall in that pit with that helmet? She would have had it on while on top of the platform. Objection! Not likely. <laughs> According to this, Dara would have fallen into that pit as she rode down. Oh, I think it's the script. Um. Oh. Save. Uh. Let me see. Check. No. 
No, it wouldn't be that. Oh crap. Yeah, I think it is the um I think it is the script. Save? Yeah, save. Definitely save. Yeah, cuz look look at the bar. Look at this look at this bar right there. If I mess this up, then I'm screwed. <laughs> save hoggers. We're save hoggers. Oh yeah. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> they make this they make this way too intense not to. Yeah, it has to be the script. Take that. According to this script, Dara was to ride down a ramp. And while riding down, she was to put the helmet on. She was to put the helmet on as she, as she was riding down the ramp? It wouldn't be that difficult for her to do. This helmet is made to fit on her head without putting any straps on. It fits over easily, knowing Dee Dee, she could do this no problem. However, if she did this with the chloroform inside the helmet, she would have fallen. Riding over a pit of fire, she would be sure to die. Hang on! What if someone went into my office and planted that bottle? Objection. I'm afraid that's not likely. The police have been conducting an investigation for the past several days on my orders. Your office had been locked the whole entire time. No one came in or out of there. Okay. You even told us the defense that you hadn't gone back to the stadium since the murder. We only managed to get in your office because Mr. Manley broke the locked door. It wasn't broken beforehand, so we were the first ones to enter there days after you left. If you really want to make sure no one else touched that bottle, we can dust it for prints. Though, I doubt we'll find anyone else besides yours. Oh boy. Well, Mr. McIntosh, do you think you can explain why this bottle of chloroform was in your office? And can you explain why the chloroform was applied to the insides of the red helmet? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Holy... He just threw all those apples and those apples landed on his head and Holy one broke. shit! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! He's so pissed off now. Oh wow! Ooh. Talk about a breakdown Apples. I know. <laughs> I guess you could say this was a a bad apple. Uh, oh! Yeah! This has to be over. How could he possibly have anything else after that? I would have. I could have been rich. Devlin died before I could get even with you. I could have been the best if you weren't around. And when you died, I considered it a blessing. Your daughter would no doubt follow in your footsteps to its bitter end. I worked hard, became her manager, and tricked her into signing the contract. All I had to do was bide my time until she was ready to reveal herself. But then Pit Stop, I left the contract on my desk one day, and he snatched it. Why he wanted to make a copy and get proof against me. He always knew I was out to get Dara. Firing him would have been easy, but it would have been too suspicious. Oh, boy. The day of Dara's revealing has co was coming, and I had gotten everything ready. But there's something I didn't count on. Manly! He stole Dara's keys for the show and threw a wrench into my plans. I, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to carry out that plan that day. So while handing Dara her suit, 
I swiped her white helmet and gun plaque without her noticing. I found an old suit and took the padding out. I would have preferred having her killed, but I did have a plan B. I just didn't think I'd be using it at all. So I disguised as Dee Dee. I ran off to the bank. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're fine. The robbery was a botched one anyway, but I still managed to get her arrested. Damn it. If she just... If she just gone ahead and went through with that stunt, the evidence would have burned up along with her and I with all the benefits. Oh my god, his face. So, you admit to committing robbery, murder, and attempted murder? <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, his face is creepy. I do. I guess that stupid woman at the bank was another wrench in my scheme. <laughs> but, but the stupidest woman of all is you, Dara! Do you really think you're so special? People only love you because you're Dee Dee, a nostalgic relic from the past. I cover that your father never bequeathed to you. And yet, look what you benefited from it. Riches, glamour, and false idolation. No one loves you. They love the name. And even after this, what do you think will happen? People like me will try to get in good with you and use you to get at your money. They won't care at all about you. No one will! You're just a naive brat who will trust in anyone! You're a doomed creature! <laughs> doomed! That's enough! Bailiff, get this parasite out of my courtroom! <laughs> Trusting little Terra, you should fear for your life now! <laughs> I knew Macintosh did it. We had a feeling that he did. Thank God. My Thank God, what a the bad Lord. Man. Thank the Lord it's over. Well, we can breathe easily now that that man and his foulness are gone. <laughs> Miss Duvall, do not take what that man said to heart. They were the pathetic grumblings of a sore loser. There were people here you in this hotel who you risked everything judge. to help you today. Mr. Wright here, and of course, Mr. Hawk. Huh? Oh? I say, where is Mr. Hawk, Mr. Wright? Huh? I, uh, I didn't really see him leave, Your Honor. It wouldn't be right to hand down the verdict without him being here. However, court has gone on long enough, and I'd like to end proceedings now. Why did Mr. Hawk leave? He really helped us out! He should be happy like we are! Hmm. Well, it can't be helped. I will now announce the verdict. This court finds the defendant, Dara Duvall, Dara Duvall not, not guilty! guilty. Yes! We did it! Yes! Woohoo! Court is adjourned! Finally! <sighs> <laughs> oh man! Finally! That was crazy! It was wow. shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> you okay? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I am! I'm fine! I'm fine! <laughs> oh, okay. that was funny! We did it, Nick! We did it! <sighs> Glad that's over with. That guy was pretty tricky. And a slime ball to boot! How could he say all those terrible things? Like the judge said, he's a sore loser. He was trying to get Adara to the bitter end. Well, I think it worked. <laughs> Dara! You look so down, we won the case! I can't let what Macintosh said get to you! <laughs> what, what if he's right? Dang, damn it, Darren! Oh! Pit stop! 
Mr. Pitstop? No one's out to get at you because of your daddy's wealth. A lot of people respected him, Macintosh being the only exception. So don't let that dirtbag get the best of you. You're better than that. Dang, damn it! I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, Tara. You can convince her that no one is out to get her. Maybe... Can I butt in for a minute? What the? Tara! Not everyone is out to get you. And even if they were, there are people who are, well, who are willing to protect you no matter what. Oh, I missed that. Take that! <laughs> Don't you remember what happened just a little while ago? Mr. Manley came into the courtroom and gave us the contract. He worked hard with Detective Gumshoe to get that. That's right, he did. He really cares for you, Dara. <laughs> I want to believe that. <laughs> I don't know. I want to trust him. Yes. Dara! You can't leave without convincing Dara how much Manly cares for her. She needs to get out of the slump anyway. Dara, Mr. Manly has always looked out for you, and it wasn't just for today. I want to say it's the keys, because that was exactly what he stole to prevent her from make doing the jump. True. I bet you. I bet you that's what it is. But just in case, just for all time's sake, I want to get the good ending. I We've worked hard for this. I'm saving it. Yes. Let's try the keys. Take that! Those are the Steel Samurai keys. Mr. Manley didn't go into your dressing room to steal them out of jealousy. He stole them because he was afraid you were going to get hurt during the Hellfire Hellride jump. If he didn't do that, you wouldn't be standing here with us. <laughs> Yo, D! Manley! D Joel. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Well, I I guess I couldn't help anyway. Bringing that contract didn't matter too much. I... I wouldn't say that. Oh well, did you really take those keys? Because you were worried about me? Of course I did! Uh, I mean... Yeah, I, I did. I mean, I didn't know Macintosh was really out to get you at the time. But I don't see a reason to watch out. I don't need a reason to watch out for you. Uh -huh. You're the most awesome woman I know, D. Next to your dad, you're probably the best. It sounds dumb, but I don't want to see you get hurt during these stunts, you know. And I don't want to see some scumbag like Macintosh do anything to you either. So just keep in mind that I'll always be watching your back. <laughs> Joel! <laughs> ah. Joel! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I treated you bad for the past few days. I didn't think I could trust anyone anymore, but... But now, I know I can. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I got you. No one will hurt you if I'm with you. I, I, I guarantee it. Oh, ain't that cute. Aw, Nick! Isn't that sweet? It's a happy ending for Dara, and that's what counts. Alright! Manly, let go of her! I see you sniffing her hair! Dang, damn it! <laughs> what? Get, get off me, old man! I wasn't doing nothing! Wait a minute. Didn't the bailiffs arrest you a while ago? Oh, yeah, they did. After the trial was over, the judge called me into his office. Heh, <laughs> he's a pretty cool old dude. Considering how things turned out, he said he'd let me go with the warning. I should slug bad guys in court more often. Need to repress some of this rage on someone, you know? No, you shouldn't! <laughs> Mr. Wright, 
I hate you so much for defending me. I owe the both of you as well. I'm just glad you're feeling better, Dara. You're much prettier when you're happy. Y you know, those tickets you got for the show were pretty expensive. Oh, <laughs> we get to know how much they are! Oh god, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I'll make sure you get a refund for that. <gasps> oh! Yeah! Thank you! Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I don't care how much it was worth! I'm getting a refund for it! Thank you! Thank you! Aww, you don't have to- What am I saying? What am I saying? No, don't, no, don't! No, Phoenix, what are you thinking? No, don't worry. I want to do this for you, and... Here's a little extra something for me, Mr. Wright. Mwah! <laughs> Nick! Muchas smoochies, I'll come kiss a door! <laughs> You're turning redder than Dara's hair! <laughs> well, yeah, you know. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Nick, Mr. Maya! <gasps> <gasps> I knew she was gonna interrupt. You cheer! How could you? This thing has Mr. Manley! Ow, no. ow, ow, ow! I'll never forgive you! Never, ever, ever, ever! Ah! I knew! I knew! Oh, God, we're God. coming to this! Uh, Nick! He's so cold! Oh my goodness! Will he be okay? Nut squirt can pack a slap! Good on you, little missy! How come I didn't get a kiss? <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, there's more? What's this? May 10th, 348 District Court, 3rd Floor Lobby. Hmm? Ooh! Oh, shit! You took an uncharacteristic risk today. However, in the end, you managed to help find this the truth. This is worth, I think. Along with Wright. Yep, Edgeworth. <clears throat> huh, how about this? Yet, here you are looking defeated. Why is that? I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. There was no mistake. You uncovered a nefarious person's actions and brought him to justice. He admitted to his crimes, and now he is being incarcerated. You did the right thing. Miles, just leave me alone. I have nothing to say to you. <sighs> Very well. I will see you at the prosecutor's office tomorrow. Aww. Poor Hawk. Why did I do that? Why did I help the opposition? I'm supposed to find the truth on my own. And yet, I did it again. Why? Why did I do that? I can never, never do this again. I'm sorry. How? How? Who is Hal? Hal Strider? No, I'm kidding. Homestuck joke. But we finished the case! Look at that! <sighs> yeah, of course it leaves it open with another cliffhanger, as I had a feeling it would. I didn't think this was gonna be over. I, I love the Pearl freak out! Oh my god, she was so spoiling on that! But they never told us how much the tickets were! Yeah. Silent Bob, if you hear this, comment to how much the tickets were right now, immediately. Oh, uh, he's probably not going to tell. No, he needs to tell. He'll probably... <laughs> he'll say, he'll say, I know what he'll say. Here, here it is. He'll say it was over $9,000. <laughs> that's how much it was. And so that's how much we got a refund for.
Or no, 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 I want to say a joke, but, um... What? Shit. Uh, I was gonna say, um, an old joke that we used to have. Do you remember, um, do you remember our friend Guardian? 67 percent! 67... 67 thousand dollars! Oh, no. Actually, no, that doesn't, that doesn't quite fit. Yeah, I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, whew. Man, that but was, I think, that, I think this was the longest we've ever gone on in one of these, in one of these trials here so far. My god, that was crazy yeah. long. But I mean, then again, that's what you get for going in blind and you know, actually having to restart a time or two. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, well. Let's see. Uh, you can get your money back. <laughs> yes, thank the Lord! <laughs> so. This is the conclusion of Turnabout Daredevils. I hope you guys enjoyed this case. This was a lot of fun. Crazy? Insane, yeah. but fun. Oh my god. Almost hard this... to stop you. Yeah! It was. Silent Bob, dude, my man. I applaud you. I really do. This was You really, better really be good. at Kineticon. I will be asking you all of the questions. <laughs> oh, you better watch out. Oh <laughs> man. Okay, well, we've gone. Better not cry the... because Shinju Fei is coming to find you! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think our Claire Wright can do anything to stop this one. When she starts, that's that's it. Anyway, <laughs> well, this will be all for now, uh, guys. Thank you very much for watching um, this uh, playthrough. And stay tuned until Turnabout Legends is finished. Dude. We yes, I've I've Legends. I've heard that Turnabout Legends is to be the next case. Uh, it's still being made. So when that will come about, I'm uh, not really sure. Um, as I heard it's slowly been making progress, but we'll see. Uh, who knows? Uh, so in the meantime, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, be sure to leave a comment, leave some criticism. Let us know what you think. And yep. if you're definitely looking forward to more, which if you come this far, I guess you are, because I think we're all really interested to see what happens with Hawk. Hawk's <laughs> definitely got a past that we're not being told about. So we can't count this game as complete yet, but there will yeah. be I'm sure there will be more to come in sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. but until that time comes. Uh, Wait, Mike! Before you say bye, remember. Can we do it? Can we do it? Well, I Ready? suppose we could. There's only one thing to say for now. Three, two, one! Objection! Objection! <laughs> I might even throw that in, just throw that random clip in there just for a fact. Okay. Anyways, uh, yes! we shall see you guys later on next time uh, on Trials After Justice. So, so until right. then, it's you pay? we're signing out. out. So long for now. Yes, Take care, everybody. Woo!